So we're going back the way we uh, we just went. But this time we're going to not go and get those boots. We're going to continue up this squiggly path and towards the uh, the lumber the lumber maze. The lumber maze. Flies gonna attack us. No cheap shot for you today, bro. Alright, putting on boots, grabbing notes, like it's our job. 74, 75, 76. Ugh. So basically it's a straight maze. There's there's no variation in the path whatsoever. You just have, you just gotta make your way on through in time before your boots run out. Uh, the only real way you can screw this up is to accidentally take your boots off or to just sit completely still and let your boots run out. Neither of those options seem very appealing or plausible because it's, you know, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't say it's difficult to do either of them, but it's simply not something that comes to mind when I think of it. Alright, so Jiggy's going to appear over there. We're going to want to, um, I'm going to zoom the camera in real quick and uh, position it behind me and uh, walk myself on over there. No big deal. You, you usually get plenty of time to do that. I always find the problem is getting back after doing this because I'm very bad at navigating myself back and I have no idea why so I'm going to take this extra carefully. Extra carefully today. I don't know why. Like, going back is like ten times harder. Alright, we're going to grab more boots. Keep going through the maze now. Uh, 83, 84, and 85. Don't, no cheap shot. No cheap shot. Alright, sit still. Take the boots off. There's a fold feather. Oh, you can bulk them back here. Just kidding. We have 25 of those now. Go in the hut. I actually think he has something of relative importance in his hut. I think it might be the... Yeah, it's the empty honeycomb piece, I think, is in his hut this time. Yeah, it is. See that? Check that out. Oh, I missed! No, oh, I missed. I will not make that joke. I hate when people make that joke. I don't even find it that funny. Like, ha oh, it's a meme. Like, dude, memes are supposed to be funny. It's, like, not even that funny. Like, I understand the fact that he's saying it is, like, kind of weird in just the way that he says it. Whatever. And anyway, we have plenty of Mumbo tokens to, uh, give to Mumbo right here, and he's gonna transform us into a croc. Who could have seen that one coming? Wow, Mumbo! That is so douchey of you. Oh, hey, there's a Mumbo token back here, too. So there's 16 of them now. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, out of all the transformations in this game, the alligator is actually the only one that actually has an attack. He sort of bites and gobbles. I guess that's the best way to put it. So he can actually take care of stuff. <sighs> and I'm yawning again. You can also get like a little bit of flight if you uh, bite as you go down. Now, inside of here is a challenge that you can do. In fact, I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to go in here because I know there's notes that you need to get. Uh, there is a challenge that you can do against this guy. I'm going to talk to him. See what he's got to say. Her, her, her. I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. I'm going to press B to chicken out. Puny Green Croc is scared. I am scared because this game is very, very difficult unless you have that power-up which is sitting in the corner over there. Those uh, walking shoes, whatever those are. Anyway, we can actually get this Momo token in here as well and get these notes and leave. Be done with that place because it's very, very difficult to do that challenge without the power-up. So, yeah, I just I, I don't even recommend doing it at this point in time. But now that we're transforming into a crocodile, the crocodile can move through the swamp water with ease. Does not get hurt. Uh, so now we can collect the rest of this stuff under here that we couldn't quite get before. So we can all get this stuff. And get that last Jinjo, who I think will be the second to last Jiggy of the level, if I'm not mistaken. So that's going to be... Yep, that's going to be... Oh, that's going to be eight. What's the last one, then? What's the jiggy that I missed then? Oh, it's the um 
I don't think I got my jiggy for shooting the eggs in that guy's mouth, did I? No, I didn't, because yeah, when you when I leave the world, I'll get that. And what is the camera is really throwing me off? Like, what's going on here? Going crazy. Okay, so th these should be the last notes in the level, I think. Oh, he missed. No cheap shots. No cheap shots. Yeah, those are the last notes in the level, and we can grab this extra life just for shits and giggles. Well done. Ah, no cheap shot for you today. Alright, now that we're done with uh, notes, notes are really the last thing that you need to use, or need to use the alligator for at this juncture. Um, so, I think, yeah. The last jiggy should be shooting, uh, at least I'm pretty sure it's, it's shooting the egg in that guy's mouth, isn't it? Because he, sh he should be back here, I think. Yeah, he's back there. But, you know, obviously, to shoot eggs, we have to be Banjo-Kazooie. So I just wanted to be the alligator to get those notes really quickly. So now we can actually go and transform back. And, uh... We're going to be transforming back and forth from the alligator for a little bit. Uh, it might even make Bubble Gloop Swamp a three-episode part because coming ba we're going to be coming back and you know, going to and fro from this level simply because we don't have all the power-ups we need to finish it completely. So, going to go back, transform back into Banjo and Kazooie. Transforming back is free, so no need to worry about wasting Mumbo Tokens on transforming back. And I really, really should not have drank that hot chocolate, because I thought, like, Oh, look, hot chocolate! It's sugar! It's going to make me hyper! No, fuck that shit. It made me tired, because it's hot chocolate, and all I can think of is drinking hot chocolate and sitting by a fire and eating chestnuts and, you know, generally being a complete boss. Should have grabbed extra boots. Okay, and give me some jumpy jumps, Banjo. Give me some jumpy jumps. Don't get hurt too much. Aha! MLG, look at that shit. Alright, so now we can go and get that second to last Jiggy, which is technically the last Jiggy that we can get at this juncture. And then we can leave Bubble Gloop Swamp, but then we're going to have to come back in and then go... Yeah, we're, there's, there's just a lot of stuff we're going to have to come back for, so... Be a little patient with completing Bubble Gloop Swamp, please. Can't quite do it all in one run. Can't quite do it. No cheap shot. No cheap shot. There we go. Yep, so he gives us a jiggy just for doing that. Let's roll on into the cage. Roll into the cage and get a jiggy. And do a celebratory dance. Not gonna get the super special celebratory dance because obviously we haven't gotten everything. Anyway, so we can leave the level now. Um, that we have. Let's check our totals. So, yep, two out of two honey empty honeycomb pieces, hundred notes, and just missing one jiggy in particular. But we're gonna have to come back in here twice because of certain things that I will not explain at this juncture. And yeah, what's up with the shadow? Hold on a second. Check out the shadow. That's kind of weird. The sun is definitely not this way. Hmm. Never noticed that. Well, all strange things aside, let's warp ourselves on. Let's warp our butt on out of here. And I think now that yeah, now that we're out, so these guys are gonna spawn. No cheap shot for you. I'm gonna want to take care of him actually. And take care of him. And take care of him. Wow, he only takes one hit to take out. Is this the one with Brentilda in it? It is. Screw you, Brentilda. Get the hell out of here. So one has Brentilda, and the other one has... Waiting Boots. Of which we had to wait for until we were in Bubble Gloop Swamp to actually learn the move on how to use them. So now that we have them, we're actually going to go in this pipe way back here. And uh, there's going to be some stuff for us to get back here, as well as the way to open 
the way to the next world. So that's how we're gonna open that up. That's what I was about to say. Bunch of random bullshit. Kinda snowy and icy, got some nice ice physics going on, sliding around and everything. Alright, so we can stand on this platform. 28 jiggies, no problem. Bump down to 20. And fill in the way to Freeze Easy Peak. Um, so now we have that, we're going to want to climb up here. Be sure you do this if you want to get 100% in the game. Uh, going to have to climb up this and slam on it. Just kidding, uh, beak bust it. There we go, that's how you get it. But we're not quite big enough to fit in here, so guess what we're going to have to do, guys? We're going to have to go back and transform ourselves into the alligator again just to do that. Yep, it seems annoying, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. So, back into Bubble Gloop Swamp we go, simply to transform ourselves into an alligator, and then leave again. So this time we're going to leave as the alligator. Um, who knows, I might cut this out, I might leave it. Cheap shot! Cheap shot! Cheap shot! Alright guys, definitely gonna cut that out. That took quite a while in there. Uh, but now that we are back in the alligator form, we're gonna go head straight through this pipe. No worries about the uh, swamp water, because obviously we're an alligator. And all I can see is Banjo's backpack right now. That's pretty cute. I love the alligator form. I think it's my favorite form of any of the Banjo-Kazooie transformations, like, ever. Simply because, you know, he just seems, like, so invincible, and then he's got that cute little attack thing. I think it's awesome. And I love alligators, too, so that, that is, uh... That is, uh, something that's pretty awesome, so. Now we can actually fit through this pipe, and we're going to be treated to something pretty special in here. Something that you don't necessarily see a lot, unless you know all about it. And check this guy out, he's a flying book. What's going on here, flying book dude? Cheeto the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, Book Brain, what did you say? You better not give my se uh, my spells away, not secrets. Uh, which lost book finders bear, uh, bear and bird are spell they get? Uh, we sure do, Bag Lady. Come on, Book Boy. Give us the spells. Uh, only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Blue Eggs on the Sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove. World, help, help you at will, hidden in lair. Other spell books are. Them you should find. Them you should find. Them, them you should find. Alright, so Cheeto told us to go enter the code Blue Eggs, I believe, on the uh, floor of Treasure Trove Cove. As you can remember, you know, there was that room that had Banjo Kazooie written on the floor. That was we had, what we had to spell out by you know, slamming the different tiles. Well, now if we enter the word Blue Eggs, I do believe it will double our egg capacity so we can actually have 200 eggs at any given time rather than just 100. So that is actually pr something pretty cool that they put into the game. Nice little secrets. Cool stuff. So if you wanted to get 100%, that is something that you have to do. I'm not going to put in the code right now. I th mostly because I think if you, tar if you turn off your system after entering the code, it doesn't actually uh, it doesn't save the code. So you have to enter it again and again and again, you know, if you want to keep using it. I'll just, I'll just use it later, you know, if I want to actually show it off. Maybe in a bonus episode, something like that. I don't know. So, magic ran out. Cheap shot! Cheap shot! Get the hell out of here, man. Alright, so now that we have that, we did uh, get that, um... We did get the Jiggy out here. We opened it up, but uh, it only opened up the top of Gruntilda's head right there. So that doesn't help us out a whole hell of a lot. So I don't actually even think that we're going to be able to get this Jiggy uh, that we opened up at the end of the episode. Um, so I'm just going to have to leave you guys off here in suspense on how to get this Jiggy. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.